Okay, here we are with Ella, my helper, and Earl. Earl is from Beatrice's litter of medium double doodles. He's being very wiggly. This is going to be hard. Earl, settle down. So I'm, I've took, I got some notes from the guardians who raised him. He's been here since Thursday night, and it's only Sunday, so I have to rely on the notes that we took. Um, Earl is the largest of the pups. I don't have his weight on me, but I think he's going to be probably 45 pounds, I think. 40, 45. He's active, adventurous, nice with the other pups, even though he is the biggest, gentle and love, loving. Love Earl Snuggles. <laughs> so I guess he was quite popular. He's quite a handsome boy. Let's see your face, buddy. There you go. But yeah, he, he has the look of a small standard to me, so that's how I'm going to market him as a small standard. Okay? All right, so Ella's going to put him down. We just have our crates where Ella's in the middle of a big clean here, so we've got the puppy separated. And that other fella's from Lacey's litter. Um, um, one of the bigger ones, one of the chocolate ones. Can you reach that one that's sleeping in the corner? What? Can you reach the one that's sleeping in the corner? That's what I'm trying to get. So okay. Get okay. So any of the bigger ones. What about Oliver? I think this is Snoop here, the guy with the shorter coat. He seems pretty calm right now. Okay, so the next one is going to be Snoop. Now, Snoop's coat is very short. Um, it's, it's a dark, dark chocolate. But I, I think it might be a, a light shedding coat. He should be a bit fluffier by now. It's lovely, but at this stage, I would have expected a bit longer coat. So he might have a bit of a throwback like, to the lab jeans in him. Um, can, you, can you back up a little bit so I can see his face? There, that's better. The lighting's better. It's always hard with these dark dogs. So Snoop is, again, one of the larger fellas. Um, he loves cuddling, likes to play, but often will just observe the others before participating. He was the first to discover how to escape the cage. I guess they were climbing out. So um, I'm going to post the weights of these guys in the text underneath, um, underneath the posting for the video, just so people know the sizes. But again, I think Snoop's one of the bigger ones. I think he's going to be a small standard. Um, large, medium, but I think he may cross over to a large standard. He just has the look to me of a standard dog. Okay, so that's Snoop. Okay, so now that big chocolate one that's standing up there, if you can reach that one. With the whitish face, yep. We have two chocolate pups here, male and a female, who I think are going to turn parchment and it's the reason they're going to turn that color it's hard to tell on this lighting um now i'm going to back up and see if we can get a better photo it's hard to tell but around their snout and eyes they've got some lightning already and it's like a silvery color so let's see if we can get closer really hard to tell in this lighting can you back up even further maybe over this way we'll get out of the light and maybe there, that's better. You can see it better now. Um, so this is the pink collar one, I think. Yep. So this is Rosie. So they're saying Rosie is the second biggest. Although I kind of feel like Snoop might be bigger, but we'll, we'll check the weights. She is sweet, active, loves her color time, and walking outside. Um, this litter got to spend a lot of time in the yard, so they're very comfortable being outside. We have one little fella here who just wants attention really badly, so he's making a lot of commotion. So this is Rosie. Her coat is going to be a straight fleece. Um, as I said, it's like a milk chocolate now, but when we see lighting, lightning on the face, as we're seeing now, we know they're going to fade quite a bit. So I will post a link to um, what a parchment dog looks like once the adult coat comes in. But you can see like a halo around her eyes, they call it, which is lighter, and the snap is lighter. That will develop over time into a very light um, silvery chocolate. Okay. Yeah, maybe he'll be quiet. 
Next, uh, so there should be, let's see. Sophie is cream with a brown nose. Now Sophie is the girl I'm keeping as the guardian and I do think I have a place for her. Zero. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna get those ones that are lying down. Now the other chocolate one with the silver, she's waking up, she's in the corner. But I mean, I guess the other option is to let them all out, but that's not easy. Yeah. When we let them all out, they poo. This is you, right? Well, maybe if you want to just stand there and we'll do the last three. She has a brown nose. You are just not going to be happy, are you, buddy? Skinny? Yeah. Is she got a red collar? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's Sophie. Sorry, and as I said, we've got them all in this little pen right now because we're in the middle of a cleanup. They do not live in this small pen, so please don't, you know, judge what we're seeing right now. This is not how they normally are, but we we do have to do these cleanups for all these puppies. Okay, so this is Sophie. Sophie's significantly smaller than the rest. She has a brown nose. She's light caramel in color. As I said, I think I have a guardian home for her. She's going to be a future breeder. So I'm not going to go into this too much, but in case that falls through, um, I'll give you the notes. We call her the princess. She is the smallest and is very gentle and always seems to get the best spot for a snows. She likes to play with the big puppies and is very sweet. I have noticed that she is quite calm as well. In the, just the few days that uh, she has been here, she is very calm um, which is another reason why I want to keep her as a breeder so that is Sophie I'll get a little close-up you can see she has brown nose if we get a close-up of her eyes you'd see that they're hazel but in this lighting <laughs> it's very difficult she's tickling Ella okay so that's Sophie now we should have another chocolate one with a white collar and then that color there hey, I'm tied to my shoes Hi. One of them is Lincoln. Is that the boy or the girl, hun? I don't know. Wait, take wait. Because we did Rosie, so that's got to be either Oliver or Lincoln. Oliver has a white. What color is that? That's white. Okay, so that's Oliver. So he again has that fading thing like Rosie has. You can see it better in this lighting. He's going to give Ella kisses. Yeah, Ella's getting okay. nipped at the butt. Are you okay? They're booming in my pants. <laughs> I won't show you in your underwear, I promise. <laughs> so he's got even more lightning, lighting than Rosie. So again, I think he's going to be parchment. Uh, another big boy. I think he's going to be a large, medium, or small standard. And again, I'll, I'll base that on the weights. But he, these are chunky, solid puppies. Just look at those paws. So they're getting that from... Dad, Gus, is a small standard, and uh, Mom is probably the same. So these are large, medium, small standards. So the notes we have on him is he's happy. He's a happy puppy. Sometimes he wants all your attention, as, as typically he just goes with the flows, loves belly rubs. So I find him pretty, pretty sweet. I don't find him very vocal like some of them can be demanding attention but you know here it's difficult to say because we have a lot of puppies in the house right now so oliver can you look at me buddy look at me hi 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 okay so that's oliver and then we've got one more lincoln now lincoln is large i believe that's him and uh, does he even have a collar on yeah what blue. color blue, 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 blue. lincoln blue collar yep okay that's him He's a bit smaller than some of the others, bigger than Sophie, but I would say he's second smallest in the litter. So he may be a medium. He does not have the fading like the other two, and his coat is a bit curlier than the rest in this litter. Snoop! Snoop, he's not happy. They want to go outside, but we just sprayed outside so they, we can let them out until that water goes away. So, hey, hey, hey! Dude, that's enough. Um, so the notes on Lincoln are, he loves to play with the others. He is shy initially, but joins in with passion. And he's Once cute. comfy, oh, with passion, once comfy. Well-rounded dog and loves to follow you around. He's very pretty. He's, got a, he's probably got the nicest coat of the litter, I would say. Okay. 
So that's it for this guy, these guys. Thank you, Ella. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna put these others away. And like I said, don't judge what you see here. This this is just a temporary pen. This will be expanded to be at least twice its size. And all the other pups will be, be added. And then we've got the outdoor pen for them to play in as well. Okay, so I will post the weights and any other notes. Um, this is a selection video. These puppies are ready to go. I would love to have them go through the week or on the weekend. It's kind of a long weekend sort of here. I guess Thursday is a holiday. A lot of people might take Friday off. I'm off on Friday myself. So we'll hope to get a lot of these pups placed this week. Thank you, Ella.